Hello and welcome to the My Mini Maths Home Learning Top Tips Help video. In this video, I'm just going to quickly run through some helpful tips on how to best use the home learning packs. So first of all, as you well know, I am a teacher uh, in the classroom every day and I've been using the Mini Maths Home Learning approach for over 10 years now with some absolutely fantastic results. So I'd very much like other people to have a go as well and hopefully you'll find them as useful and as uh, powerful as I do. Um, it really does work, that's the first thing to say. Uh, and also they are very, very popular with, with the pupils because they're short, sharp, concise. They're po very popular with parents because um, again, they're very easy to manage and they can help as and where necessary. And teachers love them because they're so easy to manage and the resources are ready to go. So to quickly run through some of the benefits that the home learning packs offer, they offer the most important thing is they offer that daily intervention for pupils to allow them to make those sm short, small steps to success throughout the week with fantastic results at the end uh, of each of those weeks. And it really, really, really does help build the confidence, understanding and application of the learning objective um, that's been uh, highlighted and chosen for that week. The intervention can take many forms, of course. You can take it as a whole class, certainly at the beginning of the week, uh, when there's more children requiring uh, assistance may have a small groups which yourself or uh, a teaching assistant can can work with or of course as the week develops you'll find there'll be individual uh, pupils which you can give a bespoke intervention to uh, a, on the questions that they require further assistance with uh, of course they are short sharp concise they get to the point okay parents love this and and obviously they can be completed with or without um, home support um, either way is both uh, effective they're easy to deliver, they're very easy to mark and assess. That's the whole point. Time is so precious to everyone, but especially teachers. So they have been designed so they are quick and effective. They are very easy to differentiate. So it isn't a case of here's four questions, uh, off you go. You can cater them for the abilities of your children. So you could ask the more able to complete all four. Maybe you could ask some children just to complete a minimum number of questions or just questions one and two or a maximum number. There's lots of approaches uh, that you can take with these mini maths. They are very, very flexible. And don't forget, it really does build the confidence, understanding and application of the pupil uh, throughout the week, taking those short steps to success. So how can they be used? Well, as we know, they are primarily designed to be used as a home learning resource, using that daily process and providing the uh, required intervention. But they can, of course, they can be used in lots of ways. Uh, start at entrance task as the children walk into the classroom in preparation uh, for the main lesson. Very effective in that way. Uh, intervention groups. So you can identify children requiring uh, extra work and intervention on a particular area they can be taken away to work with either yourself or another adult in the school but also great preparation for SAT so you can target key areas in preparation for those assessments and I've been asked many quite many times why why are there four of the same question sheets on a page well quite simply they are master copies for teachers so all you have to do is, is print and then photocopy six, seven, however many sheets you need for your class, cut them into four, hand them out, and then it's done. So the idea is to make it as, as time efficient as possible for teachers. And of course, they can be used individually as well, where you can just, if you want to just have a go at home, you can just take one of those four resource sheets and use the questions uh, by themselves. Okay, as I said, I've been using this for over 10 years and I've developed a nice process a daily process to work through which i find very very effective but please just use this as a starting point uh, you can adapt these steps according to your children and yourself and your working practices whatever uh, fits best with you but this is hopefully hopefully will give you a good starting point so obviously uh, each day uh, i've printed out my mini maths and then we hand them out to the children to take home that evening to have a go. And again, as I say, you can differentiate those questions according to the children. Then they come in the next day and we work through the questions on the interactive whiteboard, discussing the answers 
which immediately gives that opportunity for intervention. And then once we've got those answers marked, I have a quick show of hands who's got four, three, two, one, zero questions right. And it's really important to create that culture of the zeros and the ones do not matter. And quite often at the beginning of the week, we're going to get those. It's about the whole purpose of this mini maths. Uh, cycle is to develop that understanding and take those steps small steps to success throughout the week uh, and I found that children uh, it's a great opportunity to build and just to say look let's try and get that increase that score to one and two and we do and it's wonderful to see the joy on their face when they have that success so once you've identified the children that require some intervention, that may be obviously at the beginning of the week, that may be a larger group, so you can work as a class, half a class, whilst the other children are working on another task, or as the week progresses, you'll find there'll be smaller groups, uh, only, only a few individuals towards the end of the week, and you can work with those at some point in the lesson, just discreetly as the children are working away at their main lesson. And, and this is the real key to the success of the home learning package, that intervention that takes place daily. Small, sharp, effective, targeted intervention, which then moves them on the next evening. Which brings me on to handing out the next evening's home learning pack, all in preparation for the next day, where I follow the same six steps. And on to an example. So here are my five uh, learning resources throughout the week. Uh, my, from my home learning pack. So I've taken home Mondays and for question one, I've got 90. Question two, I've got 64. Question three, I've got 210. And finally, for question four, I've got 250. So when we go through these on the board, following those six steps here, we can see, we can mark them. So 90 was correct. 64 should have been 63. Question three should have been 30. Question four should have been 150. And as you can see here, we've got one out of four on our first day. So we've got something to work from, something to build on. So again, I'm going to use this to identify the areas in which I need to provide intervention for. And next on to Tuesday, and this time, question one, my answer was 78, question two was 815, question three was 301, and question four, my answer was 201. And again, in class, the following day, we're going to go through the answers. The first one should have been 68. Question uh, two is correct, question three is correct, and question four should have been 381. And again, what we can do, we can use these, here to help identify the areas for intervention, both as an individual or as a group, if it's a common misconception. And in this case, discuss those approaches to mental maths and how we can use different techniques to help us. So here, obviously I've got two out of four, which is an improvement on yesterday's one. Again, showing those short steps, small steps to success throughout the week. And moving on to day three, on to Wednesday. Question one, I have 320 as my answer for question one. Question two, I have 51p. Question three, I have 606. And question four, I have 950. So next date, when I go through the answers in class, 320 was correct, 51p was correct, 606 is perfect, and 950 should have been 850. So. Okay, now three out of four. Again, we're moving in the right direction as the week progresses. That intervention is certainly having an effect. So you can use that show of hands to quickly identify the children requiring intervention. And obviously here, I need a bit more help on that question four and the techniques that I need to be using the following on that next evening's home learning. And next, we're on to Thursday's home learning. So question one, my answer was £5.80. Question two was 688. Question three is eight pounds 50. And question four is 245. Again, we're gonna go through the answers in class. So five pound 80 is correct, 688, eight pound 50. Wow, 245, so there's my full four out of four which is wonderful to see. You can see the small steps to success that I have made throughout the week. And finally, on to Fridays, which as we can see, 
is an IQ. Now, obviously, this is handed out on the Friday to be completed on the Friday when they return home. Um, and we go through this on the Monday. So you can see that a cycle loops round and round from week to week. And you can see that the IQ here is a, a mastery type question. So it may involve some reasoning, some problem solving, investigation. And it's just a nice a nice way of taking the progression that we've used for these four days and all the interventions that have taken place and putting it into this uh, final IQ Friday just to really showcase their application how that has developed throughout the week and again you can differentiate this according to the needs of children you can just give them one or two questions or maybe the full set for the more able pupils but it really does provide a great opportunity for class discussion and um, just finding out what the different approaches that the children have taken with this style of question. And then finally, at the end of the week, it just brings us round to which objective do we select for next week? So uh, obviously from your own understanding of the children, you can just ch select one of the uh, learning objectives and follow the same process for that next week and just watch the children grow in their conf with their confidence as the week progresses. So I hope you found this video useful and uh, I look forward to hearing some uh, success stories as, uh, as the year progresses. Okay, take care.